Welcome to this video on adding rooms to QuickQuote. In this video, I'll show you how to use the Rooms section of QuickQuote to estimate room renovations, fitting out, plumbing and electrics. Before watching this video, we recommend that you first view the Getting Started Introduction to QuickQuote video. I'm going to use the Renovation template as the basis for my estimate. You can open a Renovation template by selecting the QuickQuote Custom Estimate option when you create your estimate. A renovation template allows you to estimate a range of renovation tasks without entering the overall building dimensions as you do with a standard job template. You can, however, add rooms to any type of job template, so you could add rooms to a house, extension or garage. We're going to focus on the rooms section of the quick quote, but let's leave all the sections in there for now. As you can see, a renovation template looks slightly different from most of the templates. There are no building dimensions at the top of the window and no standard settings. Let's find the room section of the quick quote using the jump to section drop down box. Click on the drop down box and select rooms. The room section will appear at the top of the window. The room section allows you to estimate parts of the job where room dimensions are required. For example, decoration, renovation, flooring and wall tiling can all be estimated in the Rooms section. You can also use Rooms as a way of mentally separating out the tasks you need to do for each room within a job, so that you can ensure you've allowed for all of the components required within the estimate. Select a room shape from the drop-down box. There are rectangular, L-shape and irregular configurations, with flat or vaulted ceiling options. I'm going to select a rectangular room with a flat ceiling. The Rooms window pops up. Select a room description from the drop-down box. If the description you want isn't in the list, simply type it into the input box. Now enter the dimensions of the room. Remember, you can press the Tab key to move between the input boxes. Now let's tell QuickQuote about any existing openings in the room. Click Add Existing Opening. I've got an internal door which is approximately 1.95 by 0.9 metres. I've also got a window I need to add to the room. Let's enter the window height and width and reveal depth. If you're inserting a new opening into the room, first estimate the door, window or structural opening from the main quick quote window and then use the link estimated opening button to associate the opening with the room. Once quick quote knows about all the openings in the room, it can accurately calculate the area of walls, ceiling and floor in order to estimate renovation, plumbing and fitting out tasks. Now we can start estimating. Let's say we want to estimate the cost of replastering and decorating the room. Select Renovation from the drop-down box under where it says Estimated Items. Click the Add Workbooks button and select Internal Renovation from the dialog box which pops up. Select an internal renovation template. I want to use the top option to hack walls, plaster, skirt and decorate. The Dimensions Wizard pops up. As you can see, QuickQuote is using the room dimensions we've entered to calculate all of the selected renovation tasks. Press the Tab key to move between the input boxes, to tweak all of the dimensions and check you're estimating all of the tasks you require. Usually, for estimating purposes, you'll soon find that you won't need to check every detail. Click through the next few pages to check the door, window, structural opening, and ceiling details, and once you get to the end of the Dimensions Wizard, click Finish. Scrolling down the window, you can see the internal renovation has been added to the Quick Quote. Now let's add some fitting out items to the estimate. Select Fitting Out from the drop down box and click Add Workbooks. I'm going to add ceramic floor tiling and wall tiling to the estimate. Notice that you can add multiple workbooks to the room estimate in one go. Scroll down the window 
and click the Add Worksheet button adjacent to the ceramic floor tiling. Quick Quote already knows the dimensions of the floor area, so let's just update the cost of the tiles to £25 per square metre. Check you're happy with the remaining details and then click Finish. Now let's review the ceramic wall tiling. I'm going to select the typical bath tiled on three sides option. Review the dimensions wizard. Changing anything is necessary. And then click finish. Now let's add some plumbing items to the estimate. Click the add group of plumbing items button. Now select a group of plumbing items you want to add to the estimate. I'm going to pick three piece bathroom with a shower connected to internal soil pipe. The quantity is set to one by default. Now confirm the room size, which again has been calculated from the dimensions you entered. Scroll down the window to see all of the items which have been added to the estimate. As you can see, Quick Quote has estimated the bathroom suite, radiator, and all of the associated pipes and fittings. Click the Edit Dimensions button adjacent to the three piece suite to review the price allowances for the sanitary ware. Update any costs as necessary. Remember you can use the tab key to move quickly between the input boxes. Review the time allowed to install the sanitary ware. And once you're happy that the figures are accurate, click finish. Finally, let's add some electrics to the estimate. Click the add group of electrical items button. The bathroom option has automatically been selected based on the room description I chose at the top of the rooms window. Scroll down the screen and take a look at the items which have been added to the room. You can of course delete or swap any of the items. Perhaps you want to add a light switch outside the bathroom rather than a pull switch. Click the delete worksheet button to delete the pull light switch. Now click the Add Worksheet button. See the range of internal lighting options available. Let's select the light switches. And now you can see the light switch has been added to the estimate. Take care when estimating plumbing and electrics to ensure you don't allow for these elements twice. You can estimate plumbing and electrics within a room, as we're doing now, or within the main quick quote window, but make sure you don't do it twice. Once you've finished estimating all of the items for your room, click close to return to the main quick quote window. Here you can see the bathroom I've added to my quick quote. You can go back into the room to review and edit the task you've estimated at any time by clicking the edit button. You can of course add as many rooms as you need to your estimate by selecting another room from the configuration drop down box. Once you're confident using Quick Quote, you could set up a template with all of the renovation, fit out, electrical, and plumbing tasks you typically do in different rooms and save the template to the library for use in future Quick Quotes. You could then add the template to any other job template you're using to further speed up your estimating simply by tweaking the various elements in the rooms. To save the template to use again, click the Save to Library button at the bottom of the screen. A dialog box pops up asking if you want to overwrite an existing template. Let's create a new one, so click No. Now enter a name for the template. Let's call it My Room Renovation. Click OK. Next time you create an estimate, your customised template will be available to select in the template selection window. Give it a go.
Add rooms to your quick quote to price up tasks including renovation, fitting out, plumbing and electrics and see how much time you can save.